name of Jesus. Is God a good God? Is God an awesome God? So awesome God deserves an awesome praise. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Turn your Bible with me to Colossians 3, 1 to 2, and 2 Corinthians 11, 1 to 3. Bless the name of Jesus. Colossians 3, 1 to 2. If he then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. And we move to 2 Corinthians 11, 1 to 3. Would to God, would to God he could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have exposed you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguile Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Bless the name of Jesus. Bow your head with me. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We need a word from the word this afternoon, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will slay yourself right now. And let your spirit lead, guide, and direct my path, oh God. I pray, oh God, and asking for your leading this afternoon. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. First, I must give honor to the creator of my being. And for, for my well-being here this afternoon. I give honor to him because all honor and all praise, it belongeth unto him. And him alone. Without him, it couldn't be possible. So I have to give him praise. I greet my pastor. And my daddy, <laughs> I call him my daddy because he is my, 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 my everything. I can call upon him at any time. He's my spiritual father, one of my spiritual father. Yeah, I, I ad admire him. And I greet you, sir, in her most precious name. I greet Sister Patsy, your wonderful wife, my mother. Minister Wright, I greet you, sir. Last time I was here, you wasn't here. <laughs> I greet you, sir. I greet your wife and your daughter. I greet all the deacons, the deaconess, the missionaries, the evangelists. Please accept holy greetings in her most wonderful name. I greet the saints in Christ. My brethren, my little children, everyone, by the hearing of my voice, I greet you in her most precious name. Bless the name of Jesus. I greet those who are on the social media platform. I, I, I greet you. 
whatever space that you are in, whatever division that you are in, I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. We have a wonderful How could I forget that? <laughs> yeah, last but not least. <laughs> yeah. And I always greet my wife and I don't know what happened today, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I always greet my wife. I, I, I greet my darling wife. Can you stand for me, my darling? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> She is everything to me. Yeah. Everything to me, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I greet her in the wonderful name of Jesus. We have a, a wonderful theme before us this month. Nutrition, I, I, I greet you, sir, in the wonderful name of Jesus. Technicians, and I, I, I don't want to move from your spot because there can be a shift. Yeah, there can be a shift. Uh -huh. Yeah, there can be a shift. So I want you to stay put at your position. Bless the name of Jesus. We have a wonderful theme for the month of March. The faithful God. And lamentation was the reading. And I'm working with a sub team, sir. And it will be tied with your theme very much. The theme that I will be working with, I will not be distracted. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I will not be distracted. Tell the person beside you, I will not be Distracted. And pastor, if we are focused, then we know the faithful God will come true for us in every situation, in every condition that we are in. We have to stay focused. I will not be distracted. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. And Paul, writing to both churches, says something in Corinthians that will give us a sort of different flavor as it relates to the power of the mind. Bless the name of Jesus. Colossians chapter 3 and even through it comes after Corinthians in its layout. In verse 1, we want to seek and in verse 2, set your affliction on things above, not on things on the hurt. I want you to know, I want you to know this. Now, seek and set. Bless the name of Jesus. Seek and set. In Second Corinthians, Paul in writing, extremely personal book. This book is the most personal book except for maybe Philemon because he's trying to get the Corinthians church not to be hungry because of the first letter. Bless the name of Jesus. Of the first letter that he wrote. I think of it, this letter is after the spanking. Bless the name of Jesus. He became extraordinary, personal, because of the first letter that he wrote. So he tells them things that he wouldn't normally talk about. No matter what position you are in as a child of God, no matter what you are striving to reach higher, there is always a danger. Always a danger, Pastor. Bless the name of Jesus. That you will be 
distracted. Hallelujah. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Don't leave. I'm going somewhere. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I will not be distracted. It would take so long to give you the definition of the mind. But we have to understand based on the Hebrew thought and also the Greek thought. So your mind and my mind is not just a detached room in the house of a human being. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. But when you deal with the mind, you actually deal with life, with soul, with heart, with all of who and what we are because we can be no different than what we are in our mind. Bless the name of Jesus. I said, stay with me now. We're going somewhere now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will not be distracted. And so based on where we are, place and based on the influence, the mind is influenced for those of us who know God by the spirit of God. And it is still influenced by the world. And the reason is because God did not detach our flesh. So he did not cut off a source of influence that messes with the mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Messes with the mind in a negative sense because he kept our flesh connected to us. Bless the name of Jesus. I say I'm going somewhere now. I'm going somewhere. Bless the name of Jesus. I will not be distracted. Bless the name of Jesus. Oftentimes, I wish I didn't have to battle with the flesh. Bless the name of Jesus. I said, Lord, why don't you just don't let it bother me? One sign of being a child of God is the fact that there is a struggle that you are fighting. Do I, have a, do I have any fighters in the house today? Because the minute that you call on Christ and the minute that you take up this Christ to walk with God, there is a struggle and that there is a fight. Bless the name of Jesus. Because the devil don't fight those who you have out there. Once you pick up Christ and start to walk with Christ, then you begin to fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the devil don't fight what he have already. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. We are in a fight. Every day of our life. Pass up 2009. Sabbath convention. I gave my life right here. I walked to the altar. When I got saved, Pastor, yes. when I reach home, yes. there's a dance inside the yard that I live. Yes. The fight began. Yes. The struggle began. Yes. <laughs> but I have to endure the fight yes. because I know that I serve a God yes. who is risen yes. and who is able yes. to be with me yes. through my struggle of walking through the fighting while I'm walking he is there with me and pass a, a son a son she up in the yard and I said good night good night everyone I'm walking I'm going to bed <laughs> because I'm a changed person now pastor and you have to ha and, and, and you have to behave in a manner that change because you are no you are no 
portray with Christ. You are not representing Christ. So you have to talk the talk. You have to walk the walk. Bless the name of Jesus. So we are in a constant fighting. We are in a constant struggle. Once we take up this mantle and start to walk with Christ. Bless the name of Jesus. Because the mind, the mind becomes the place where all of our emotions and contradictions are fought. The mind is a battlefield. We are in a constant war. The moment we take up the cross and decided to follow Jesus, our mind become a battlefield. Bless the name of Jesus. Well, the point is that it's the mind where I have to battle to find my victory. Because even if I thought about being with a woman, in my mind, I haven't been with her physically, so she hasn't sinned. Bless the name of Jesus. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Amen. So, if I can defeat it in my mind and not act on it, you cannot say it's the same as doing. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Because you have to defeat it in your mind. You don't get into an action before it comes to your mind. Bless the name of Jesus. And if you can defeat it in your mind, then you don't have to play it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, stay with me you now. If anyone, if anybody decides to sleep in bunks, someone says, wake up, man, wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm going somewhere. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. See what they failed to understand was when Jesus said that he that looketh upon a woman to lust have already sin in his heart. But what they failed to understand was that was when the will and the desire come together and then it only needed opportunity. Amen. Are you following me? Amen. If I get the opportunity, I will steal this thing. Or I will kill this person. Amen. Or I will take this. Because you have already put your will and your desire together. And all you need is a chance. So then the Lord know. He does. The Lord know that. that does not have to wait till the action exhibit itself he can deal with it when it conceive in your mind bless the name of Jesus bless the name of Jesus so pastor when the will on the opportunity on the desire present itself together sir in your mind and if you don't defeat it in your mind you will hack it out sir bless the name of Jesus bless the name of Jesus amen now if the Lord can catch you in your mind and reverse your mind then he can reverse the action that would proceed. Amen. Amen. How many times has God caught us in our mind? 
How many times God has caught us in our mind? Listen, we are talking about the faithful God, you know. How powerful God is. Amen. Last month we're talking about the, the undefeated God. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I will not be distracted. Because we serve a faithful God. Because if, if you go by your flesh, you do not sit. Now you, you may seek, but you can't sit with the flesh. Because it's changing too much. Amen. The flesh is moving from one thing to the other. It's responding to too many different impulses. Amen. You see the thing that keeps us from having our mindset is when our flesh is in control. You can't set your mind on anything when you are moving by the impulses of your bodily and physical desire. Amen. Some of you are still fighting now. Amen. Some of you are still fighting the good fight in your mind. But we have to learn to defeat it in our mind. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Some of you are still fighting right now, man. Over what you see, what you used to do. That's now in your mind. And unless I can get it out of my mind, I can't do what God would have me to do. Because I got too many things floating around, distracting my mind. Hallelujah. So we have to stay focused on a daily basis with Christ. We have to feed upon his word. Amen. Amen. You see, it's important to understand this because we are fed by the stimuli through our flesh of the world. And the control is for the mind. If I can get your mind... I can hold you when I'm not even around. If I can get your mind, I can control your emotions, your will, and I don't even have to be around. All I need, all I need you to do is to think about me. And I don't have to be there. Amen. You don't have to see me because I am in your mind. Suppose I don't, have to, I don't have to be around you. All I can do is just, I just want to get into your mind. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I don't care if you go to church as long as I got your mind. I don't care if you carry a Bible as long as I have your mind. I don't care if you jump and shout because whenever I get ready, I trigger your mind. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. It don't care how high you can shout. How loud you can sing. As long as I got your mind. To show you how powerful the mind is, Pastor. 
Your mind is so powerful. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. I got to get your mind. I can get your mind. I can make you crawl. If I can get your mind, I can make you call me in the, the middle of the night. If I can get your mind, I can fix it so you can't sleep. If I can get your mind, I can cause you not to heat. Every time you get ready to heat and I come across your mind, you'll push your food away because if I can get your mind, I've got control of you. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm trying to get a point across to somebody to let them understand the truth of the matter is that we serve a faithful God. Amen. Amen. You see, your mind, you can steal my money and I still got joy because you ain't got my mind. You can steal my car. And I still have joy because you ain't got my mind. You can say, I don't want to see you again. And I still have joy because you ain't got my Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Once you have your minds in contact with Christ in the midst of it. Then no devil from hell can steal your joy. Amen. Amen. The mind is so powerful, Pastor. It makes your things think things that you are not. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm watching social media and a pastor quoted this, sir. And Jesus said, if I made it a stone, we're not going to change it into something that it's not. If I made you a male, we're not going to change it into something that it's not. If I made it a female, we're not going to change it into something that it's not. Amen. Amen. If you are here today and you're, a, and, and you're a mister, don't try to be a sister. And if you are here today and you are a sister, don't try to be a mister. I will not be distracted. The power of the mind. Bless the name of Jesus. You're a mighty man of God. You're a mighty woman of God. It is set. Don't be distracted. Get your mind back. Tell the person beside you, get your mind back. Get your mind back. It's only a trick from the devil. Wanting us to believe things that is not there. The devil is a liar from the pit of hell. Bless the name of Jesus. Get your mind back. The devil tried to mess up your mind. They often say, sir. They often say, I feel I'm a man. But there is a woman trapped in my body. The blood of Jesus. Get your mind back. And that is a trick from the devil in the name of Jesus. It only happened one, one time in the Bible. And God put man to sleep and pulled the woman out of him. And that settles it. That's it. No more. Bless the name of Jesus. Get your mind back. Get your mind back. I feel like a woman. With a man trapped inside of me. Bless the name of Jesus. Just hang on honey. Nine months time. And sooner or later. He's going to pop out. Nine months time. 
and that man is going to pop out. And that's it. That's it, sir. Get your mind back. Get your mind back. Bless the name of Jesus. Get your mind back. Bless the name of Jesus. God should be trusted, man. And God should be praised. It's the power of the mind. And Pastor, sometimes, sometimes you are here worshiping God. Sanctify. Full of Holy Ghost. And Pastor, you have the devil send people around you, Pastor, to bring back things to you. And you forgot about that all year, sir. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. God is to be served, people of God. God is to be served. Get your mind back. Get your mind back. If, if, we, if you are struggling with something, the Bible said that high and sharp met high and. And if, if you are struggling with something, it is time to call upon a brother. It is time to call upon a sister and relate the problem, relate the situation, relate the condition that you are going through. It is not easy for you to be going through it alone. But the Bible also said that you must call for backup. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I have your back and you have my back. Bless the name of Jesus. We pray one for another Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So if I'm struggling with something and my, I have to relate it to my brother because my brother can relate it to God on my behalf Amen. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. So don't sit down there with your problem. Don't sit with your condition. It will only get worse. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Get your mind back. Get your mind back. Amen. I will not be distracted. Amen. I will not be distracted. Focus on God. Focus on the word. The Focus on what God has to say. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God should be trusted. And God can be trusted. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. We are flesh and we are bound to fail at times. But God, but God, but God, but God, but God, hallelujah, hallelujah. So if you are going to what you are going to, call for help. Call for backup, Pastor. Call for backup. I am sharp, make high on. You have my back. Amen. I have your back. Amen. Hand in hand, Amen. we can walk. Amen. Hand in hand, we will talk. Amen. Hand in hand, we can trample the devil. Amen. Hand in hand, we can overcome. Amen. You overcome. Amen. I overcome. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. So don't sit down there with a the problem. Amen. Don't sit down there with a the condition that you are going through. Yes. It will be worse. Mm. Ask for help. Put pride one side. Amen. Pride is like a disease. Amen. That will be tearing down more and more. Amen. Somehow we feel like we too are too proud to ask the, ask the help. Amen. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Ask the help, man. Amen. Back up is on the way. Back up is here. Amen. Because we are the church of the living God. Amen. Holy by reinforcement, sir. 
who will leap? Who are going to hear it? They are calling for reinforcement. Because they believe that what they have is it, not enough. So sometimes we feel as if that what we have is enough. It is not enough, sir. Call for backup, man. Call for help, man. Call for help. And God will see us through, man. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. The things can be, maybe happen around you. But don't get distracted. Stay focused. Stay vigilant. Amen. Stay sharp. In Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other day, the other day I was looking, going on some interview, and I called for backup, sir. I say I need prayer. I'm going there and I need prayer. And God has come out victorious. Because I don't, I don't, I don't rely on myself. Because myself can fail. But we serve a faithful God. And he always have his faithful servant. Willing and able. So I'm here victorious, sir. Victorious. Good, good. Good, good, sir. So I'm here giving God praise. Giving God all the glory. Because he deserves it. Bless God. Bless the name of Jesus. Don't get distracted, man. Stay with God. Stay at his feet. Be faithful. Because we serve the unlimited God. And he is undefeated. And he's faithful. They read out Mike Tyson record. And they say that he was he was. Yeah. Holy feel he was. Yeah. Lewis was. Yeah. Josh Foreman was. Yeah. Was. All of them yeah. was. But my God, yeah. our God, yeah. is undefeated. Yeah. That simply means that he never lost a battle. Yeah. And he's still winning. Amen. Amen. He was there with Daniel in the lion's den, undefeated. He was there with the three Hebrew boys in the fire, undefeated. He was there with Paul and Silas in prison, undefeated. Bless the name of Jesus. He was there with David when he slew Goliath, undefeated. So we serve an undefeated God. And now we are serving the faithful God. Because he's undefeated. And he's faithful. So if we just trust him. Put our confidence in him. He can see us too. I'm saying to someone today. Whatever situation that you are in, whatever condition that you are facing, whatever it is that you are going through, do not be distracted of what is taking place around you. Do not be distracted of what is the situation. Do not be distracted of the condition. Do not be distracted. Trust God. Trust God. Because he is faithful. And for his faithful pastor, he will see us through. 
God bless you. God keep you. In Jesus' name.